In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's with great joy and love that we are assembled in the house of God on this most beautiful and wonderful holy day of Pentecost. We come to you from St. Stephen's in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, and we are joined with our school children from Pacelli Catholic Schools. It's a great joy to have our wonderful school students with us praying with you at home. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We pray, praise you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us be seated for the readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Emilites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pentus and Asia, Pergia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Liberia near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to, Ju to do Judaism, 
Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Our second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings by the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he said this, 
he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. It's with great joy and love that we are here today in the house of the Lord as we celebrate this most wonderful solemnity of the church, that happy day in which God sent forth his Holy Spirit to renew the face of the earth. Sometimes when we think of Pentecost, we think of that scenario, that situation, that occurrence that happened in that upper room 2,000 years ago, but that is only the beginning. That is only the first instance of God sending forth the Holy Spirit. It has been a continuous sending forth that continues up to this modern day. We here gathered in this church joined with our brothers and sisters in their homes and apartments throughout Wisconsin, we receive that outpouring of the Holy Spirit here and now. From that happy day in which we were baptized and became temples of the Lord, having God dwelling within us, each day is a new opportunity to share that transforming love, God continues to send his love into the world. May we continue to have the courage of those disciples go out preaching, proclaiming the good news to one and to all. I believe in God, the Almighty, Almighty. All things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, God our Father wants all to be saved and calls us to the knowledge of the truth. Let us pray to him with all our hearts. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord will guide it and protect it, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For all peoples of the world, that the Lord unite them in peace and harmony, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all our brothers and sisters in need, especially those yet unborn. We pray to the Lord. for ourselves and our diocesan community, that we offer an acceptable sacrifice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, our refuge and our strength, Hear the prayers of your church and grant us today what we ask of you in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. rising before our Lord. At this Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, 
I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. 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 Saint Michael the Archangel. Satan and all the spirits who prowl about the world, seeking of souls. Amen. Hi, everybody. Bishop Callahan here. Welcome as we gather together to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. I am so happy that you have joined us and I continue to pray with you and with all the members of our diocese as we pray for the sick and we pray for your families and your friends. God bless you and thank you for your support of the Sunday Mass. <laughs>